Hello everyone. So in this video, I'll show you how you can build and deploy Android application using Azure DevOps pipeline. So let me quickly show you my application repository. So this is my simple uh, Android application. So you can see the source code over here. Okay. So this is my application source code. Plus you can find the unit testing, uh, unit testing code as well over here. Okay. Apart from that, you can see that I would be using Gradle over here for building this Android application. So this is my Gradle property file as well as the Gradle build file okay, needed for this application to build. Okay. So this sorts my application repository. Now to build a pipeline, I can go to the pipeline over here and I can say new pipeline. I can say Azure repo git. Okay. And then I can select my sample Android application repository. Okay. And in the once you select the sample application repository, okay. In my repository, there is already a Azure uh, hyphen pipelines.yml file, okay, which uses a Gradle task over here, okay, which builds my application. Okay. Apart from that, I am copying the application or I can I'm copying the APK file of my Android app once it is built. Okay. And I'm publishing that uh APK file to my uh, Azure pipeline container storage. Okay. So I'll save this pipeline and then I'll click on run over here. Once I click on run, okay. It will first create a Mac OS, uh, managed agent, a Microsoft managed agent. And inside that Microsoft managed agent, it will run the Gradle build. Okay. Then it will do the unit testing. Okay, then after that, it will copy my files to the Azure pipeline storage. So it has started it work. You can see over here, this operating system is Mac uh, 12.7. Okay, now it is getting the application code on the Microsoft hosted agent. Now it is finally initializing Gradle. And Gradle will start building my application. I'll Pause the video for a minute. Once this once this is built, I'll show you the logs. See my build is successful. Okay. Now it is popping the files and it has published the APQ file inside my pipeline storage. Okay. It's popping the file over here and then finally it is popping my loading the files to the pipeline storage. So if I go to the pipeline, if I select this pipeline. And if you look at this job, okay, it, is, it has been executed successfully. Okay, you can see the unit testing results. So there are two unit tests and both of them are passed. I don't have code coverage configured over here for this pipeline right now. So and if I click on the storage, if I expand this part. Under release, you'll find the APK file. And this is the unsigned version of this APK file. Now, additionally, if you want to do the signing activity, let's say that you want to sign this uh, ap application, okay? Then you can edit the pipeline and you can go over here before you copy the files. You can do the Android application signing, okay? But again, for this, you will require a PlayStation account, Android, uh, Play Android uh, App Store account, okay? Uh, you need to put those details over here. Okay, and that will do the signing of the application file. Okay. And once it is signed, okay, now you want to upload it to let's say Play Store. In that scenario, you can go to release pipeline and I'll just say apply this for now. And over here I'll add say add artifact. And this is my build pipeline. I'll say add over here. I'll initiate the automatic trigger. And in the job, I'll remove this job because we are not deploying this application to Azure App Service. It's an Android application. It would be installed on mobile phones. So what I need to do is I need to get it uploaded to Android Play Store, right? Okay, and that is what the deployment would mean over here for me. And then once it is deployed on the Android Play Store, users can download the application. In order to do that, I'll say add a job over here. And over here, I'll search for Play Store. Okay. Publish to Play Store job. 
if it's not added to your organization, you would need to add it to your organization first. You can just say, get it for free. You know, install it to install this to your organization. Okay, and once this is done, you can go back. You need to probably go to release pipeline one more time, new pipeline. Let's say apply. Let's select the artifact. Let's select our uh, build pipeline or CI pipeline. Let's initiate continuous integration. And let's remove this. Let's add a job. Let's search for Play Store one more time. Okay. And you can select this. Okay. So this Play Store job will publish your application okay, to the Play Store. But again, in order for this job to get added, you need to create a service connection. Right. Again, you need to put your uh, Google Play Store credentials. Then only the application could be published to your account. Okay. And once it is published to your account, it can be installed by the user. The users can download the application and they can install on their device. So this is how you can build and deploy your Android applications using Azure DevOps pipeline. I hope you find this video informative. Thank you for watching.